All right, so in this video, we're just gonna do a bit of an install on the clothesline that we've put on our awning. Um, so we use that, um, obviously, as a clothesline. It's great when you have the kids come in with wet towels. Um, if you're just doing a quick bit of washing, you can just peg it up there. No worries, you don't have to try and find clotheslines or you don't have to hang things between trees and things like that. So this is permanently mounted to our awning so we don't ever take it down. It just stays on there and it works really well. Alright, so the tools you'll need will be an angle grinder or with a cutoff disc or some sort of bolt cutters to cut through the wire. We've got a 10mm socket because it's an M6 eyelet bolt and nut, so that's for that. We've got an um, 8mm socket on a ratchet for our dog clamps. Tape measure it so we can measure how much uh, down from the awning we need. We've got the drill with an appropriate size drill bit to drill the holes, and that's pretty much it. So one thing that you've got to do before you start drilling any holes or anything like that is just measure for anything that you're going to hit. So in the case of our van, we've got a, I'll just use this as a pointer, we've got our, a centre support up here. So if you do the um, line too close up to the top, you're going to rub into that. Um, we've also got some lights and windows and things like that. So we've got to try and find the best point to put the line without interfering with anything because you don't want to attach it, roll it back up and then rip off something that's on the van. So we've had this on here now for a few months and it doesn't move that much as well. So it's not banging on the, on the side of the van or anything like that. So it hasn't touched anything. So it's pretty much in the perfect spot. So pretty much once you know where you're gonna do, where you're gonna put it, we'll just do some measurements. So I just trusty tape measure. I think I just jumped up on the step and pretty much just measured a good point down. I think it was about 160 mil from the um, from an opening there. Well, I think from the barrel actually it was 160 mil. Yep, 160 mil. So I just measured that down and just made sure that you're not going to um, have any clearance issues. Alright, so now we've got our measurement that we need to do. So we pretty much just measure down. Ours was 160 mil, so we measure that down. We put a little dot there and we'll do the same on the other end. Pretty much we have to do a, put an eyelet here, or an eye bolt here. So it's got a uh, nut on the other side with a M6 so that goes onto there and then I've just got a little shackle that mounts to our turnbuckle so I've got a turnbuckle on here pretty much so you can loosen it and tighten it when I first attach the rope I have this backed right the way off and then you can adjust it accordingly so over time this uh, this stainless wire will obviously stretch a little bit with the weight of your clothes and towels and things like that so this way you don't have to re-tension anything all you have to do is just tight, turn this around a few turns when you notice that it's getting a little bit slack so once you've got your eye bolts mounted uh, and your shackle and your turnbuckle, uh, we've got another one at the other end but no turnbuckle so it's just an eyelet into a shackle. You can pretty much either measure with your tape measure or just run your wire out and then cut to size. So I think from memory this is about 6 metres long but yeah each van's different, each awning's different so just measure yourself. And then the other things you'll need we've got here, um, they're either called bulldog clamps or wire clamps and they just pretty much uh, you use them for trailer brakes and just anything that's wire really you get them from Bunnings all this stuff's from Bunnings so you'll need enough to be able to loop through your turnbuckle and then you have I always have two just as a safety precaution so we tie two off and then we go down to the other end so we walk down to the other end you'll see that we've got the same thing down here so we've got our eyelet eye bolt through the side of our awning wall and our shackle and then our wire that we've looped around so i do this end first because there's no adjustment here so i pretty much tie this end off and then i'll roll the wire out till we get the correct size this either cuts with an angle grinder if you've got a cutoff disc or a cutoff wheel uh, or if you've got like a big pair of bolt cutters or something like this so this is three mil stainless steel wire and it's actually got a pvc coating on it so it's actually um nice and protected so you're not going to get any sharp like splinters metal splinters or anything like that if if the wire does rub through and also it obviously just goes better with your clothes 
draping things over that, so I always get the PVC coated one. Alright, so the parts that you'll need, just to recap, we need two eye bolts with nuts. Uh, I used M6 because it's a good size just to get in there. You've got to get, try and get it on the flat side. Uh, you'll need two shackles and one turnbuckle. You'll also need four of these wire clamps or dog clamps and then your length of stainless wire. Remember, if you want, you can get the PVC coated one. It makes it a lot easier on your clothes. All right, so that's the install video done for our clothesline that we attached to the awning. Um, I hope that helped. Uh, it's really good, we like it. So yeah, if there's any more questions or comments, just uh, comment in the comment section below and we'll try and get back to you as soon as we can.